When it comes to work assignments, do you often say yes because you want to be a good team player, you don't want to rock the boat, or you don't want to upset anybody? Well, it may be better if you say no. A lot of times we are talking and coaching with people who are telling us that they just can't say no. It's impossible. My boss told me to do it. I have to say yes. And what we want to talk about for a minute is that that is actually a very reactive response, a reactive response. It's a reaction, not a response. What We're not saying yes or no, or either one of them are good or bad. We just think you need to take the time to pause and figure out, really, should I say yes or should I say no? And actually, when you say no, well, no, I don't know how that fits into our priorities, you're actually starting a good conversation because too often business people are reactive and they say, okay, we got to do this, that, and the other thing. Even your boss can do that versus, wait, let's slow down. Does this really fit in our Mm -hmm. um, objectives of what we're going to do? Is it going to take us off course? And consider the impact to that and have the conversation. And also pay attention to the things that are simply just distractions. This is a big one for me. Something comes up and yes, it seems like a really great thing to do, really fun, but it's really just taking me off of the day-to-day business I know I have to get done. And so then I actually resent the day-to-day business instead of (laughs) resenting that flashy new thing that came up on my screen, which is probably where I should be paying more attention. (laughs) So consider if you're saying yes to something, that means you're saying no to what you previously said mattered, that day-to-day stuff. And we tend to over... Uh, be over optimistic about how long something will take. So it usually takes us much longer. They've scientifically proven this takes longer than we think it's going to take. So what we want to encourage you to do is when you get the option to do or presented, not options a lot of times, presented with new work, consider, hmm, can you pause and have the conversation and maybe even clarify how does this fit into our current objectives? What's not going to get done because I'm saying yes to this? So don't say yes just because you don't want to have a difficult conversation. Okay. I'm Chris Marie Campbell and I'm a leadership coach and I help you improve your performance by looking at your mindset and reducing your stress. And I'm Susan Clark and I'm a leadership and relationship coach and I help people in conflict, crisis, and change. And together we're the authors of The Beauty of Conflict for Teams and The Beauty of Conflict for Couples. Okay. Take care.